No, no. F first, you should find out what is the essential nature of the universe. Is the universe an inherently irrational place, random and chaotic? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chipmunk, your spoon. Oh. Your spoon, it's on the floor. Oh. Are you ready to order? Uh, yes, I think the, uh, the usual, please. Mm -hmm. No, I I'll have a cup of coffee and a corn muffin, please. Ow. Tell me, that is your usual. Oh. <laughs> well, I'll have that then. Okay. Thank you. Aha. What? It loses 11,000 molecules per square centimeter per second. What does? The comet. Which one of these do you like best? Is this a personality test? Mm, it's a sort of surprise. They're all the same. Well, no, no, look, that's aquamarine, that's blue-green, and that's algae. Well, you know, at the atomic level, there's no such thing as color. Though, they did do that study in Belgium that time. Wait, or was it Denmark? Babbling. Anyway, babbling. Anyway, the point was that, what was the point? Oh, that since protons oh, yeah. are so much oh, yeah. smaller than light waves... Algae. Thank you. Since protons are so much smaller than light waves, how could they ever see it to begin with? <laughs> oh, those dames. Or is there a fundamental order underlying all things? Hey, Captain Marvel. Shazam! Oh, thanks. I was just reading about Boyd's Comet. Boyd's what? Comet? Like in the sky? They say it's gonna be here soon. We're gonna be able to see it. You know why a comet's tail always points away from the sun? No. You wanna know? No. no. Because it's actually not a tail at all. It's, it's bits of gas that the sun lights up. We Earthlings will try to keep that in mind. <laughs> Kind of like a 500-mile-long Jersey torch. Wow. It must be true. The fact remains that certain events are strictly accidental. What fact? Oh! Oh, my. Look at the time. No problem. Ah! It's because it's spring. Everything goes through upheaval in the spring, wouldn't you say? Come on, you little bitch. Sounds like business. MGTF Roadster. Austin Healy. Cadillac, cool. Buck, you're on. Ooh, blown intake valve. Cracked extruder cap. Busted muffler. Are we all victims of some comic cosmic accident? Or is there a grand design? Oh, what luck. TC Roadster. That's a TF. Looks like a couple of college swells. You handle them, man. Hi. What seems to be the problem? Um, no. Uh. Do you have anyone here who knows how to deal with British automobiles? I, I really don't want anyone just poking around in there with a sharp stick. Would it be all right if I looked under the bonnet? Well, at least you call it a bonnet. Ah, so that's the engine, huh? Um, look, I think perhaps we ought to go somewhere else, do you? Intake valve on time. Busted muffler. Intake valve. Busted muffler. That's your problem right there. What? You got no spark. What? You have no spark. Yes, I heard him, Catherine. So, I mean, um, what do you think it means? Is it, is it the, the generator, the coil, or what? Well, it's, it's hard to say. You see, you have a Lucas Type 4 generator on a 12-volt system, and you know the British, they'd rather spend time gluing wood on a dashboard than getting the electrical system right. Fascinating. But, but what is wrong with the car? Well, my guess is your, your, your stroke is too short and you're getting premature ignition. Does it ever feel that way? Like what? Like the stroke is too short and you're getting premature ignition? No, I'm sure I don't know what you mean. Could you just fix it at least temporarily, do you think? I mean, we're really running behind schedule here. I'll check with my boss. Don't go away. You seem 
seems nice enough. He's, he's a troglodyte. Intake valve, right? Busted muffler. I'm gonna marry her. Who, the dame? Yeah. Wow, that was fast. What about the car? I cracked the distributor cap. You wouldn't believe it. I looked at her, she looked at me, and it, it was... It happened. You could feel it. It was like death, but in a good way. He's going screwy. Pop, 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 pop. It was electric. And then... And I kissed her. You kissed a customer? When? In the future. It was weird. It was like time and space got all mixed up, and... It was like a Martian mind melt. He's cracking up. All right, look, I want you to stay away from the magazines. Oh, That's an order. Oh, no, you don't understand. It was, it was, okay. The past, the present, the future, they, they all went together. I had kids with her. I could see the kids. I had two boys kids. and three, no, three boys, two boys and three, Excuse no. Excuse me. How long will all this take? Well, that's up to you. It is? The car, you nut. Um, I'm... A, the car, uh, a few days. That long? I'm gonna have to give it my full attention. Well, in that case, I better call a phone. Do you mind if I use your cab? There's a cab in the office. Yeah, but the uncertainty principle postulates a universe of chaos. Where everything happens merely by chance. Oh! Thank you. Okay. Well, what's going on? We're going to take care of it. Hello? I need a taxi. Uh, Catherine Boyd, B O Y D. What? Oh. What's the address here? 130 Broad. 130 Broad. Uh, the first stop is the Silas Payne Institute, then I'm going on to 112 Mercer. Say so your address? Uh, 112 Mercer. 12. Two minutes. Thank you. Bye. <sighs> oh. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah. it was Belgium. It was. What mm -hmm. was? A study. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. I don't want you to worry about it being a couple of minutes. Sex, you'll be here in two minutes. Oh, well done, honey. We'll meet him on the corner. Belgium. Excellent. Well, thank you. Um, two days, three minutes. We'll call you. I, for one, will never believe that God plays dice with the universe. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> Where are you thinking?